everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining. Hi, JG. Hi, Tals. Thank you for being here. Um, don't forget to like and share the stream out. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit cold tonight. It's cold here. My hands are freezing. <laughs> no, Jordan. I'm not late. I was just actually wa waiting for mom to switch off the television. She was b well, watching television. That's why I may be a few seconds late. But thank you for joining everybody. Yes, we live. <laughs> we live. Thank you for being here, guys. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, I'm just checking chat for the second device. Give me a moment. I just quickly want to do something before we start the stream. Check live chat. Okay. Thank you for joining everybody. As you guys saw on the thumbnail and on the um, description, we are going to make a little bird's nest out of uh, recycled material that you have around the house. Um, so, let's get a sip of water quickly. Let me quickly show you guys what we're going to use tonight. Let me just flip the camera around quickly. Here we have a coffee tin that we will be using. Two thick branches, some twigs, my utility knife scissors, garden... <laughs> Garden pliers, some wool, and my glue gun. <laughs> no, JG, you can't. Um, so that is what we're going to use tonight. So, um, yeah. So let me just, it is worth a go, it is worth a go, um, JG, it really is worth a go. Let me just reposition the camera, guys, so that we can start with our little crafts project. Yes, I have a hat on tonight because, <laughs> gotta go, my phone needs charging. <laughs> yeah, that is the lamest excuse I've ever seen in somebody's stream. <laughs> So, let's... Hi, Ringo! Thank you for joining! Hi! Thank you for being here! Ooh. Guys, I am so sorry, but it's freezing cold here. I'm sitting here freezing my toes off, freezing my fingers off. We are definitely in winter. I'm just um, getting my other device out of the way so that I can check chat while I am busy with the cross project. And I just want to get my lag out of the way here as well. So first thing what we're going to do is we're just going to move this pile of sticks and stuff out of the way. Because first thing what we're going to do is we're going to cut the lid. So, I'm just going to cut off the top half of the lid off, or just under that, I'm going to cut it off. This part we're going to put back on the tin. Towels, it's already winter here. It's freezing cold. We like um, 
16 degrees Celsius today, and it, the temperature temperature did drop. So I just want to get the cut, cutting mat quickly. I forgot to put it on the table. As well as my permanent marker and my ruler. And I will be using the small blade one because I need a new blade for the big one. So what we're now going to do is I'm just going to quickly mark it where I want to cut it. Because like I said... I'm just cutting the half of it off. Let's see, maybe the scissors will work better. Yeah, no, the scissors is going to work much better. So what I'm now doing is I'm just cutting this little lid. And then we're going to place it back on. Then it's going to look like that. Um, let me cut it a little bit more. Hi Diane. Hi David. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the share David. I truly appreciate it. So let's, let's cut it a little bit smaller. Because you want... You want a little bit of space, space here for the birds to go in to make their nest. So I'm just going to, you know what I can use? I can use this half. Yes, we're going to use this half. That half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of glue with the glue gun. Stay. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here so that we can stick it where we want it. Can you now stay there? Thank you. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just putting some glue in there. Let me just put a glue stick in the glue gun because we will be using the glue gun a lot tonight. So now what I'm doing is I'm just sticking the lid, that part of the lid back on. Like that. So now it's looking like that. So the birds will be able to go in there and make their own nest. <laughs> yes, Diane, I always do that. <laughs> so, there's our lid now on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our two big sticks or branches And we're just going to lay them on the table, like that. I'm just going to move them to the back a bit. That's what we're going to use this for, is we're going to um, fasten the tin to these two branches once we're done um, putting all these 
these little tweaks on the tin. But I just want to mark it quickly with the um, permanent marker. As to from where to where do I need to put it on. So this is now why I'm, I've marked it now. So I'm just going to, on my tin, draw a line on this side. If it wants to stay in place. And then just do the same on the other side quickly. There we go. And just draw your line on the other side as well. So this is this this is now the side that we're gonna decorate. This other side is gonna not be decorated hi Osh thank you for being here thank you for joining <laughs> you need a nap Diane so now these two out of the way because we will use them last like I said to Fasten our little. So now what we're going to start doing is we're gonna just you're just gonna glue <coughs> glue your sticks onto your tin. I want it to look as natural as it as I can. I want to make it as natural as I can. Then hopefully the birds will um, come and make nest in it. Because I did, I do have half cut of tins that is hanging against my water tank at home, outside. And um, <clears throat> last year some of the birds did make nest in them. So I told mom that I want to actually make some more and hang them in the trees so ouch Bernie be careful not to burn yourself you got the tendency to burn yourself oh you've been busy you've been busy Diane yes unfortunately I did miss that live stream I was sleeping that time of the morning. So now you're going to just decide which sticks you're going to use and how you're going to place them. So now you're just playing around. And that is the nice thing where the garden where the garden plier come in is just to Cut your sticks to size. So this is now just what you do. I will be cleaning the mess up after the stream. Because if I don't, mom's gonna, not going to be very happy with me. <laughs> so, and this is now what you do all the way around. So, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You now have to figure out what you're going to place where, how you're going to place them. Get your size... And stuff like that. Some might be shorter than others. Some, some might be longer. But that is what's making it fun.
I might be adding small little pieces in there just to close it up. And this is now what we're doing. <laughs> yes, um, I think a lot of us have sleeping issues. So... If these are not enough, I still have a whole bucket full of some of these twigs and stuff on the floor. Stay there. Okay, let's just get that one to stick first. I'll fill in the small gaps later on. I just want to get the long sticks in first. Like I said, I try I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible. And as you guys can see, I use different sizes and because, like I said, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You just play around. I don't know how many of you saw the little video that I posted this afternoon about the monkeys. That was so cute seeing them um, there by the small gate eating the fruits that I put out. I actually put it out for the birds and the monkeys came and had lunch. That was so cute. That's why I've decided then... Uh, I'm going to do this little birdhouse project tonight. Because I'm trying to um, do things for my garden as well. Because as you guys know, I stay in, in a nature reserve. So I love nature and I love animals. So... 
And those little bird feeders I made previously are working very nicely. The birds love them. So now this is all that we are doing all the way around, just putting our twigs up without cutting out this, that is. Just putting a new glue stick in. Unfortunately, they didn't have the long sticks when I went and buy the, the glue sticks. So I had to buy small ones. And also just a little update, um, I will be posting the link to my second channel on my community page um, by next week. I am busy um, setting up that channel as well for my cooking and baking. So um, that link will be up on the community post also within the next few days I'm busy doing like I said I'm busy with that channel as well building it now that one is short Now this is now, like I said, like a jigsaw puzzle. You need to figure now out which sticks to use and which not to use. Yes, Towels, um, thank you to Lee, the Aqua Adventurer, for the suggestion. It's going to be called Baking with Bernie. That will be the new channel name. Um, I was thinking of Bernie's Cooking and Baking, and then Lee suggested um, 
baking with Bernie. Uh, and I think it's nice. It's short. It's and there's no other channel name like that on YouTube at this moment. I will be changing the banner as well. Um, the profile pic, I already made the profile pic, but I will change that as well. So this is now how far we are. Because why I'm starting that channel is I have a, 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 a order to make a birthday, to bake a birthday cake. And to make a birthday card for next week, Friday. And I want to share that um, with you guys as well. So that's why I'm I will be doing the other channel. So that I can share my, my baking and my cooking on that channel with you guys. This is now all that we are continuing to do is just puzzling our little bird's nest together. That can also work. Bernie's oven. That sounds also cool, Dals. But this channel is continuing to be Bernie's Arts and Crafts. Any suggestions will help and I will write them all down and I will put all the names in a hat and we will do a draw. I think that's the idea. I think that's what we need to do. Do a draw for the new channel name. <laughs> that would be fun. Let's try this again. Oh. doesn't matter if it's a little bit up the the line or the wool or whatever i'm going to use to hi james thank you for joining thank you for the thumbs up yes guys please don't forget to like and share the stream out if you can i would much appreciate that For the guys who are late, who just came in, I'm busy building a little birdhouse for my birds in my garden. What I'm using is an old coffee tin. 
some tweaks the hot glue gun at this stage oh thank you JG yeah I know some of you guys when you come in you hit the thumbs up But for the people who forgot, I'm just, <laughs> I'm thankful to everybody that is here. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, yes, I know last week's little live stream was a total disaster. That's why I deleted it. And um, I did a video upload on what I was doing actually. to say hi to the people on YouTube. Hi Claire, thank you for being here. Hey baby, you want to say quickly hi to the people on YouTube? You quickly want to say hi? Come, Come baby. Say hi to the people my boy. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay. Mommy's busy. You need to go to bed. Go to bed, Baba. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, he's my baby. <laughs> Just like your cats are yours, um, Jackie, mine. Um, little Brody is my baby and he's always, where, wherever I am, he's there. He's like my little shadow. And then the big dog outside is also the same. She's also like my shadow. If I'm outside, me or mum, she's always there. So we're almost to the other line. So this is all, all that I'm doing at the moment is I'm just puzzling my twigs and stuff in here. Um, like these little thinner ones we will be putting in between. He went outside, he heard the neighbor's dog. So. So this is now what we're just continuing to do. Hi Tash, thank you for joining. Yeah, um, Jackie, they become your your babies. They really do. And um, even the, the, the animals outside, they are like, like the monkeys this afternoon. They are getting so 
close to the house now and it's just so nice to see them actually coming so close to the house because my dogs leave them alone they don't chase them or anything because they know they're not allowed to I hope you guys are still enjoying this. It's just this one, and I think they are done. And then we will be filling in the the sh the short pieces It's all good, I end. <laughs> I'm just checking chat quickly, guys. Thank you for being here still. I truly appreciate all the support. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly see where we need to fill in where the little gaps is. But this is now what it looks like. But now I see. Let me just quickly put some glue on here. Stick it thoroughly. There we go. Yeah, now it won't go anywhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like that little piece, just going to put it in there. It's not even... Okay. 
This is not just what I'm doing. I'm just putting small pieces in between. Just to try and close up most of the tin. Thank you, Dolls. Thank you, Claire. Um, yes, I, I'm trying to keep it as natural as I can. As you guys know, the birds and the nature is very tricky. So I will be hanging this in the tree tomorrow, as it's already dark out here by me. And hopefully... We will have baby birds within this nest here. I will keep an eye out for them. I'll definitely keep an eye out for them. This one I might have to glue because that hole is a little bit, yeah. This one I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on. Oh, that's nice, David. Thank you. Okay, now I'm just going to close this up as well the back side I'm just going to close the back side, like I said, the back side as well. I 
Okay, I will have to glue them for that. Bernie keeps on losing her glue sticks. They keep on falling out. <laughs> oh, that's no problem. I'm just so for these I will be using thinner sticks like these ones. Like I said, I will be cleaning up here afterwards. I just need to sit down for a minute. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, guys. I am just concentrating here on what I'm doing. But thank you for the ones that stole here and still watching. I truly appreciate it. I haven't had a live stream in a while, I know, I wasn't 
my best. That's why I've decided not to stream, but I've decided to stream tonight. Okay, so this side is now done. Now we're just going to turn it around and quickly do this side. And then once we're done with these, we will be placing them onto the branches and fasten them. And hopefully we will have baby birds one of these days. Or when spring comes, I must say. eyes thank you for being here thank you for joining um i am busy making a bird's nest bird's house um for my birds outside i am Totally loving nature. So what I'm doing is I'm just sticking some tweaks onto an old coffee tin. And then we will do the other part. Want to, I want it to look as natural as I can. Hi, Tiger. Thank you for joining. Oh, they, it is, Claire. It is. It is. This afternoon when seeing those little monkeys when I was at, on lunchtime, it was so, so nice to see them just enjoying the fruit that I put out for them. Yeah, this is a messy story, I can tell you guys that. Mom's definitely not going to be happy with me if I leave the mess like this. <laughs> Now this is now definitely playing the guessing game of which twig fits where. I think we maybe this little piece will fit in there. Let's see. There we go, just give it a little bit of glue, and that is the last little piece of this now. And there's our backside done as well. Of 
of burning myself. This is now what it looks like. Like I said, this half will now, we will now actually do this part now. Let me just get all this out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is this is now what it's going to look like. I now need to fasten this on this. Stay. Jay, um, Jackie, that is the idea, to get the tin can to have a rustic effect. I've got a few half cut off tin cans actually um, that I use. Hi Jen! Thank you for being here. Oh! Nice weather for you guys. Cold weather. Here in South Africa, we are really having cold weather. Yes, I'm trying to do it um, with a lot of detail, Irish. There's a lot of, lot of ways that you can make a birdhouse. You can make it out of plain wood. You can make it out of a two liter fizzy pop cold drink bottle. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Let me just take a sip of water. You can make bird's nests, bird's houses, bird feeders out of anything. Yes, it would rust over time. Maybe if you want to use it as a planter, use that um, plastic um, that you buy some of your plants in. Um, plant it with that little um, plastic and all, or line it out, and then you put your soil in. You can do it as a planter. Oh, I've got a lot of birds here. A lot of South African birds here. Um, we've got the uh, ringneck parkits. We, um, Claire used to hear them with when I did my garden walk. We've got those other ugly birds that make an ugly sound. I've got swallows here. I've got um, doves here. Uh, a lot of different birds here. Um, some crows, all kinds of birds here in South Africa. And I am staying in a nature reserve. So it is really, really nice being here and having all these wild animals around me. I wonder why my device is, my second device is lagging. Yes, I'm clear. Our swallows are migrating to Europe in the winter time. And then in springtime they come back. Yes, yes, Tigress, um, we have birds that's just in um, 
South Africa that stays here, that doesn't go anywhere, but our swallows migrate winter time to Europe and then when um, summertime starts, they come back. For me at this stage, it's now, let me quickly check for you guys. Um, let me just check my weather app quickly. It's now 10 degrees Celsius here by me at the water right now. Yeah, those are so pretty clear. Um, I have a lot of them lately. I've got, I think, like four pairs of them in my in my yard and um, in the trees, and you can hear them. Yes, tigers. I live about um, two hundred and fifty meters from the dam. So yeah, that is how. Um, the, if you go back to my channel and you go look for the video that says nature walk then you will see how close I am actually staying to the water so guys now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to just roll it off a bit And then we're going to just take it three folds. I'm going to do six because I'm going to cut. One, two, three. Then we're going to cut it. This would be for the one side to fasten it with. And then I'm just going to quickly do another one for the front side. Okay, that's for the back side to fasten it with. And then just for the back, uh, the front side to fasten it with as well. And now you're going to just take it. Let me move this a little bit to here so that you guys can see what I'm going to do now. Now why is my phone lagging? Hi Serenity! Thank you for joining! Yeah, oh, this it's really cold here by the way. So now what we're going to do is we're just gonna lift this up. Actually, I just wanna lift this up and I just wanna put this at the bottom here. And do the same with the front side. Then we will reposition our little tin there. Come on. Why I am leaving a little space here is so that the birds have a uh, space to sit on when they are getting in and out of the nest. So that is why I'm leaving a little bit of a bigger space in front than I'm leaving at the back. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to first fasten the back side. I will be making a little thing to hang it up with but what I want to do is I want to fasten it first I'm just gonna tie a knot very secure knot And then you're going to do the same with the front side. As you guys can see, the bottom is just plain. It's nice and secure. It's strongly secured. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a nice little piece and I'm just gonna take it through here and make like a little I'm going to make a double knot so that it doesn't go loose when it's hanging. All my pieces through here. Like that. So I will be cutting this off with the saw a little shorter. Because otherwise it's not going to balance. But yeah, we will be cutting it off just like that. So, but that is our little birdhouse now done. Except now for these little pieces that needs to be cut off. And then we're going to hang it in our tree. Tomorrow. Because like I said. Let me just quickly. Catch up here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sounds good, Tiger. Tiger, that sounds really, really good. I will be giving it another piece here because I feel like it's not balancing enough. And this looks all natural, so let me take it. Let me just put another string for it. Because I want it to be balanced. Just switching off the glue gun before I forget to do that. Oh, you're not there. I'm just measuring it, guys, so that I tie my knot the same length. That's gonna work better, but like I said, I need to saw this off, and I can't saw on the table. Oh, thank you, Tails. Thank you, Claire. Oh, thank you, Tigress. Enjoy your lunch. Take care. Oh, but I'll see you in the next one. So guys, here we have the finished little birdhouse. I will be, like I said, um, we're going to just saw this off. But I can do that. I can just bring the camera closer and I can quickly do that. Let me just see where is my saw. Got this little handy dandy saw here and the blade little hand saw that I'm just gonna quickly put together for us to be able to saw our little thing with because I do not know where mom put the big one Andy dandy Bernie. Bernie needs to figure a saw out. Bernie doesn't know how it falls. Just bear with me 
one second, guys. Just one second. I will be with you just now. I will be using the jigsaw quickly guys, so it might be noisy because I cut this off. So what I'm first going to do is I'm just going to measure it quickly and then we will be So I'm just using my ruler and I'm just going to make a mark. There. And I'm just eyeballing it now. <laughs> what did you see coming, dolls? <laughs> I missed the question. I am just going to be working on the downside here. But what I will be doing is I will be bringing you guys closer if you want to see what I'm doing. So let me just bring you guys Wait, let's work on this edge of the table, yeah? Yeah. It is a little bit, dear, uh, a little bit needing sorting out. That's mom's side of the corner. That's mom's corner. Um, my corner. We are busy sorting out everything. So let me move this to here. So that I can show you guys what I will be doing. Let me just bring my electrical cord closer. And like I said, I do apologize. It is going to be noisy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it in place and just cut the branch. Okay. If it wants to work. Because unfortunately, mom put the saw away, the hand saw, but I will post a photo on my community tab, the finished project, product, project when I hang it in the, on the tree tomorrow. But this is what we're having now. Unfortunately, my, my, my saw doesn't want to go through the wood, but that is what we're having. as a final product uh, 
I was actually supposed to cut it to size before I started the live stream. But um, I forgot about that. Come on. Oops. So yeah, guys, there we have our little bird house. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> but thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Like I said, I will post a photo tomorrow on my community tab. And I will link the video to it as well. And, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's little project. Okay, Jackie. See you later. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Let me just have a seat, guys. My back is now killing me. Sorry for that one. But yeah, thank you, David. Thank you, Tells. I Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed our little bird making project. Let me just put it on the table. Before Brody thinks it's something to chew on. But thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up. For being here, for liking, for sharing. Thank you, Claire. And um, just for all the support, I truly appreciate everybody's support. Um, I really do. Without you guys, um, this channel wouldn't be where it is um, at this stage. And um, and um, doing as good as it's doing. Yes, some of the videos went crazy. Some of them not so good. But I'm sure um, once the algorithm pick my channel up it will get better and better so once again thank you everybody for being here i will see you all in the next one take care everybody look after yourself stay healthy stay safe stay happy bye